Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to be showing you in Minecraft the little mob spawner dungeon mob farm that I built. Now, a couple of notes. You do not have to make it quite the exact same size I did, and your collection method can be different. What I've done is I built this underground. If we bring up the F3 overlay, oh, anyways. You can see that my Y coordinate is approximately 42. Huh. Anyways, I'm about 22 blocks below sea level. Uh, not the perfect amount. Usually it's like 16, I think is what I've heard people say. Uh, 16, but anyways, I built it a little deeper, not really realizing, but either way. Uh, yeah, this is a little bigger than you need it to be, but this is the general idea. You want something big. Uh, it's big in other ways. So, what you do is a lot, a lot, a lot of excavation. Now, usually you wouldn't make it four, four blocks high, because four blocks high takes forever to mine. Forever, ever, ever, ever. But you make it huge. You want to make it like 70 by 70 or something epically massive. And then, some people will choose to only have this this middle part here, you can have different widths. The problem with having it four wide like I've got it, is it takes a little bit longer for the mob to wander off the edge. But sooner or later, they will wander off the edge. So really, you can get away with four, and it saves down on some mining and some trenching and some placing water. That is for sure, totally. So I've done four, and as what, whoa. I did all these two wide? Oh, that's a total waste too, guys. Uh, you only want to do these water channels one wide. Oh no, I did them too wide probably just to make sure spiders fell in properly. I think that's, yeah, that's why they're too wide is for spiders. So you want them too wide. And the way that you funnel water down, different depending on your needs. This is very labor intensive the way I've done it, but it works really, really, really well. If you want something less labor intensive, you just put a sign. You put a sign at the end of your eight blocks, because water goes eight blocks. At the end of your eight, put a sign there to prevent the next piece of water you place from flowing backwards. And then you place a sign and then you place water. The sign prevents the water from going back, so it only goes this way, keeps going in the same direction. But the problem with that, it leaves a gap every now and again where the mob can just stand for a bit and it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't bring them to you as efficiently. So that's why I've done it this way. So that's why I've done it this way. This way is faster bringing them towards you because they're always in current. Except right there, he's able to resist a little bit, right on the very edge. And what, blah, 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 blah. So you have them all come into the middle, and of course you can use the property of water only being able to travel eight blocks. So see, look at that. They flow right at the very edge here. Bam, get knocked off. And then what I have here is down below. This was a little difficult on the edges to set the water current, but if you, because I didn't use that 8 block rule, but if you use 8 block rule like here, all you need is the water current lower by, to start it off, you know, just have it one block lower, and that way the currents won't interfere with each other, and just keep going this way, and as you can see, every 8 blocks, it goes down again, and then I place a new piece of water, and they just keep going, and the real interesting thing here that I wanted to show off was I wanted to show off my killing trap, because a lot of killing traps will waste items, or have the potential to burn them, or whatever, it can be hard. So as you can see here, ah. anyways, as you can see here, what I've done is I've dug back like six, seven blocks, got some water flowing in. Basically what happens is the eight ends right here. This is the end of my eight blocks. So the end of my current's there, and then I placed new water blocks here that go straight down. And what are these cactus for? These cactus are here to kill the spiders, otherwise the spiders clog it up. So as you can see, I have a three by three area here. Water current comes in right until the very end of this, one by one for things to fall down through cactus to kill the spiders as they say there. What happens here though, look at that, see underneath? It's just a drowning trap, that's all that happens. It just goes straight down this water, goes straight down, and then there's a one space gap. And there's this one space gap here for all your items to go through, but the mob, they stay stuck under there, they drown to death. Very, 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 very efficient, if you ask me. Okay, let's go into my trap. As you can see, very efficient. Uh, 
it really just depends on how many mob are spawning in your whole general area and but it collects them pretty efficiently and then of course it takes a little bit for them to die but because it's drowning but you know the nice thing about this is I've had problems with lava traps before they can be hard to build or the lava traps will burn your items if they're not designed perfectly blah 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 the only thing about this trap that sometimes can be bad with this design is I've got three blocks wide of water coming into me so once in a while items along the very edges either there or there once in a while items along the very edge don't actually travel to me and of course the idea with a mob, mob farm is you can just go AFK sit here and do nothing So yeah, that's it. As you can see, items just flow towards you. Uh, you know, all the mob are efficiently funneled in here as soon as they fall off. You know, they really, as you can see, all of them moving there, if you can. I don't know. You can see all the F3 overlays. Yeah, and the big, the key thing is you have a big area and, you know. And I just like this trap, the drowning trap, I'm going to call it. Because the mob killer is what r people are really interested in, or the mob killer. And that's pretty easy. Just that 3x3 three three area, put some cactus around the two sides to kill off the spiders. And then that 1x3 space goes straight down where things can drown. Or if you want, you know, you could have a 3x3 three three area, but make it, no, I would say stick with 3x3. Three three. If you want to avoid the problems I occasionally have of an item sneaking by on the very side, you could have a block of water current that comes to right here ends on this block here so you dig eight that way and then once they come to the end here they hit that water current and get pushed in there but as you can see I picked up that spider web and really it's pretty rare that you're ever gonna have problems with that so hopefully you guys enjoyed this hopefully you know someone found this useful and better than those lava traps awesome